fire season is over. It's raining. And that's good because the animals can get back to their normal life and so can I. So to get started DIY Duke is going to build an attachment to the power rack. A very popular video on the Buff Dude site. We're going to keep adding to it as time goes by. We're going to put a very necessary piece of equipment on it to help us do with the lap pull downs. Remember we put the cable attachment on it then we just put a chain around the 45s but they move around and almost broke the mirror last time so we're just going to make a little platform to load the weights onto and lift it straight up. Nothing fancy but it's going to work a lot better than just a chain around the weights. Let's get started. Okay what we're going to do is going to be a simple little thing. We're going to take a piece of pipe like this, weld just a platform on the bottom. We're going to put a round pipe, and that's what the weight is going to sit on. Down in there, weld that, put another one here. This basically just elevates us away from the 4 before, so the weights aren't going to hit the 4 before. And then we're going to weld a hook on top, and then we'll be able to attach the cable and do our lap pull downs. Build that latissimus dorsi. The oxygen acetylene torch is a very versatile tool. A lot of people nowadays will use what they call a plasma cutter, which is a really awesome way to cut steel. Some plasma cutters only cut thin gauge steel, but the more money you spend, the thicker the steel they will cut. But we are going to show the oxygen acetylene torch. Now, hot are getting it. And you can see it's cutting right through there and blowing the flag out with it. Okay, that cut it off, we're going to do the other side. Remember that stuff is hot, so don't touch it. Even with gloves, these gloves are kind of thin. You want to uh, protect yourself and don't forget it's hot. Sometimes you go, oh I'm going to pick that up and it's like, yeah. Soak that in some water till it cools down fast. Yeah, I'll chill it down. That keeps you from burning yourself. Hot steel. We're talking about like 1200 degrees. There, take this over. We're going to grind those edges off too. rounded edges so we don't stub our toe on those things. Go ahead and grind the other one. Okay, got the pipe on there and just traced it out. So equal two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Then I'll cut that out with the torch, slip the pipe through, weld it there, put it over the pipe, weld it there, well, there and there, and that'll hold it on good. good. Pipe. We're going to set this pipe up here. We're going to set that up. Here. We're going to start 
start welding that. I just took a steel rod, cut it off, and bit it like that. Then it's gonna go into the top like this. Well, to put a bunch of welds on there because I don't want to be using that thing. Ooh. So we're gonna grind that up, make it look nice. It doesn't look all bulbous. Let's change that Grind it. set up this is about where we want it. Let's put a 45 oh, on there. Just above the 4 by 4 which is good. Let's hook this up. It's hitting the tripod. There it goes. Nice. Okay, this is about center. Let's see if this puppy's gonna work. Okay, here we go. Let's hope it holds, huh? Or else we're gonna get a broken nose. I know it's gonna hold it's my welds. Oh yeah, check it out. No wobbling. It's kind of spinning. Weird. Now it'll spin back. Hey. We don't care about the spinning. We just don't want it to too much shaking. Oh yeah, baby. Do it with getting the pump on the last. Let me set it down. It's still wanting it that four before. So we can do. I mean, the main point is taking the wobble out out of it, but I, I don't like the fact that it hits four before still. So what we could do, you know. Let's build a little platform back there. That wouldn't really hurt anything. And then it'd be the person, if they're doing spotting or whatever, could be stepping on the platform. Actually, that's no, not a bad idea. But I mean, we solved one problem. We're able to put the weights on a base now instead of just a chain where they're swinging. At least they're not swinging. DIY do care. And that's the platform for the lap pole. Improvements to be made soon.